So this guy called Pythagoras, who lived around 2,000 years ago, thought a lot about triangles, and he came up with Pythagoras' theorem, a squared plus b squared equals c squared. And we've looked at that before. If you've got a triangle where you know the two short sides, in this case 9 and 15, then we can write a squared equals plus b squared equals c squared, 9 squared, 9 plus 12 squared, b is 12, equals c squared. And then we say c squared, well, I just brought it around the other side, but the equal still applies, equals 9 squared, 81, plus 12 squared, 144. So, c squared equals, and you can put that in your calculator, 81 plus 144 is 225. And then you want c equals the square root of 225, which equals 15. You can put that in your calculator. c equals 15. So, we've looked at that before. And... What about the long and short of it? What if you know the long side, but you don't know the short side? Well, you can still apply Pythagoras' theorem. Let's have a look at that. So we'll put down our triangle, a squared plus b squared equals c squared. That's Pythagoras' theorem. It applies for all triangles. And we've now got a triangle where we know the long side, that's 15. We know a short side. That's 12, but have a look at that. We don't know the other short side. That's A. So we can still use Pythagoras' theorem, A squared plus B, B squared equals C squared. This time we say A squared. We don't try and put a number. B we know, so we can put the number in. 12 squared equals C squared, the long side, C squared, 15 squared. Now, we want to find A squared, so we want to put A on its own, and we're going to do that by subtracting 12 squared from both sides. Subtract 12 squared from this side and you get a squared on its own. Let's have a look at that. We've got a squared on its own equals 15 squared minus 12 squared. We can put that in our calculator or you could do some mental arithmetic and 15 squared is 225, 12 squared is 144, a squared equals 225 minus 144. So, a squared, you can do that calculation, a squared equals 81. And are we finished yet? Do we know what a is? Well, we still need to, we still need to take the square root. So, if we take the square root of 81, a equals square root of 81 equals 9. So A here, A, let's just go back on that, equals 9. 